hello and welcome to the show. I'm here on Forza Horizon 2 with another rally car build and my vehicle today is the Ford GT40. Yes, this may well have been designed to beat the Ferraris at Le Mans, but uh, I'm going to take it off-roading and see if it can beat the Lamborghini Countach on an off-road course. I'm thinking the GT40 may have a pretty good shot at this, in all honesty. Uh, because the tyres are huge, as we've seen with the last couple of cars, the Cobra and the Countach, both have gone very, very quick because they have had humongous tyres, or, or partly at least, uh, because of the, uh, the humongous tyres. And the GT40 has some of the biggest tyres you can get on any car in this game. However, there are some certain things that we must do to the vehicles. First of all, every car that is taken on this course has to be four-wheel drive, so we got to convert the GT40. It does make it a little bit a little bit heavier, but it's about the same weight as the bloody Countach, and hopefully we will have PI for some weight reduction. The tyres, they must be the off-road uh, rally tyre compound. The suspension must be the off-road suspension and the gearbox will be the uh, again the off-road transmission. Nice short gear ratios which will be good for the uh, the GT40 that has incredibly long ones from standard. It's designed to go at Le Mans uh, where you don't really need to worry about the setting off bit aside from the start. Uh, even then, isn't Le Mans a rolling start? So yeah, first gear or the gear ratios in these cars were huge because they were designed for the very very long straights there. Uh, so yeah, we've got nice short gear ratios and some off-road suspension, it's still not going to be a particularly, uh, <laughs> it's not a particularly uh, high amount of ground clearance, or the fact this may be one of the lowest cars that we've had on this uh, on this series, but I'm hoping it's going to be enough to survive the jumps. Now the concern with the GT40 is not really going to be speed, I'll be honest, these cars are bloody fast. Um, if we stick on some weight reduction, 2600, we're lighter than the Countach, uh, power, 485 horsepower, 475 torques. Uh, that's just from standard. So we'll get on the uh, the weight reduction. Brakes, we're going to want upgraded brakes on this car. Uh, I shall go do tyre widths as well, just to make sure that I can get these on the PI, because there's some big tyres on the back. 365s on the rear wheels. They're humongous. And on the front, 275s are also pretty sizable. That gives this a pretty damn good chance. As I said, Handling, I mean, while the, yes, this is a race car, uh, it is a car from 1966. It's still not going to be quite as, uh, quite as modern, quite as sophisticated as some cars. So we are going to go for full-on handling bits. So we can have the, uh, the chin sort of spoiler on the front. We cannot have a rear wing on the GT40. Hmm. Okay. Well, I mean, it kind of comes with the whatever you want to call it, the bolted-on bit of metal <laughs> across the back. Hmm, okay. Uh, uh, we could have some oversteer uh, in this car, but with tyres so big, I think we might be okay. And again, being four-wheel drive, I think we'll. I think it'll deal with it. Uh, this is what we were going to do. Anti-roll bars. Oh, yeah, I did actually press the, uh, <laughs> the right button. Oh, it's all going, all going a bit wrong. We'll go for front and uh, rear anti-roll bars. Do I go for a roll cage? It will add some weight. Uh, it does drop the PI down a little bit. Helps improve the distribution. I think I'm going to go for the roll cage. I mean, the chassis on the GT40 is going to be pretty good, but uh, yeah, I'm going to go. I'm going to go for it. We're going to go for full-on handling uh, with this car. Now, do we go? I might go for a supercharger. Uh, again, we've not got very much PI to play with. Uh, in fact, the supercharger literally just puts it. I might not. I might leave it naturally aspirated. To be honest, it's adding weight, and it's a pretty damn good engine to begin with. We're right at the top of S1 class anyway, so uh, we will go for the uh, the naturally aspirated uh, GT40. We should be able to. In looking at these statistics, this stands a pretty good chance of certainly going quickly. I mean, we've got. Ah, oh, it's going to be too much if we. Um. We could do that, and then get this on. There we go. One PI to find, and I'm guessing we can do it with a drive line somewhere. Uh, right, there we go. Drive, oh. Okay, not quite then. We will stick, to put the diff on? I haven't put the diff on, we will do that. And then, maybe flywheel? I'm guessing none of this is going to give me... No, nah, <laughs> they're not going to give me one PI for this, I wouldn't expect. No, nope, they're adding too much power. 
Uh, fly with. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> That's very irritating. Uh, flywheel. I mean, I could add the flywheel and take off the drive line, but bugger it. The the drive. There's, there's only taking off three pounds. Um, am I going to have to go? Uh, oh no, wait. I could do clutch. That's what we could do. Clutch. Are you gonna? There we go. We will uh, <laughs> put the clutch in. That's down some. That's, that that dropped the same weight as the flywheel, and uh, we've got it in the uh, into S1 class. Here we go. GT40 is ready to go. Oversteer could be a little problem, but I think we might be okay because of the ginormous tyres. Speed and power uh, should be bloody good in this car. Big power to weight ratio, 551 horsepower, 2,700 pounds. Not the lightest car we've had, but it could, be, again, much like we saw with the Countach, it could be enough to not make it sort of twitchy. Uh, straight line speed, I would hope would be good in the GT40. I think we could be on for a <laughs> very quick time. Well, it is... Uh, off to our test track when we can get out of the menus. Uh, we'll go to the Forest Brawl Circuit as per normal, where I have got five laps to set as fast a lap time as possible. The current leader being the Lamborghini Countach that has a time of... Well, I've got to find the thing on my computer because it's crashed. Stupid computer. There we go. 59.289 is the target to beat. The Shelby Cobra in second with a 59.647 and the TVR Sagaris in third with a 1 minute point. 178. An unlikely top three that we have at the moment, and I'm hoping the GT40 can, uh, can get in the mix there and make it a really unlikely top three at the top of the leaderboard. Oopsie, we stalled it a small bit while I was faffing with the cameras. There we go. Right, we are off in the Ford. How How is the grip through turn one? This is the big question. Um, there is quite a lot of grip. There's quite a lot of grip. There we go. Ooh, bit of understeer. <laughs> bit of understeer going on uh, in the GT40. Uh, but that's good. I'd much rather be dealing with uh, understeer than a very oversteery car. There we go. Yeah, that's that's not too bad through there. How do we fly? And then we're flat through here. We are indeed 103 miles an hour at one point through that turn. This is looking quick. Uh, <laughs> this is feeling quite fast, I have to say. Uh, big airtime, big bounce through that corner. Uh, that's a bit of a nasty impact on the front of the car, and then we're well out wide. That was my bad. On uh, <laughs> on that one. Okay, straight line speed. How do we do with the Ford? Can we get... I think it's 140... 143 we got the Countach. Ooh, doesn't like that. That wasn't fun. Uh, <laughs> yeah, how quick dare we go before jumping on the brake? That's not a bad opening lap. Again, we're up towards the 140 mile an hour mark. Uh, with this car. That's promising. Running a little bit wide. I'm not sure we quite have the same overall grip as we got from the Lamborghini, but it's certainly not far off in this. He's brave through these first turns. Little bit of understeer through here, but that's okay. I can deal with that now. Uh, across the jump and then booted out the other side. Can't even then look at the speedo. I'm carrying too much speed. Trees! Don't go in the trees. Trees are a bad place to be. We don't want to head over that way. Oh, <laughs> A big twitch mid-corner. It's just not quite happy with that change of direction. It's just not quite ideal on uh, on that bit. It doesn't deal with it as nicely as the Countach. It doesn't deal with the jumps as nicely as the Lamborghini. Still think it's going to be quite quick, though, from the GT40. Can we get a smooth... Uh, it's an okay landing. Not quite ideal. First lap, 1 minute, point three. It's still fast, though. On the, I've, I've missed the braking for the turn one big time there. Yeah, there, as, as I've said a couple of times before, there is a bump on the way into turn one. And if you leave it too late, uh, you end up in the air just a little bit across that bump. And the, you kind of jump on the brakes as it goes in the air. And then, of course, you, you, <laughs> when you have to wait for the car to land before the brakes doing anything. And then you miss the corner. And then I'm well out wide through there. Hmm... Okay, it's quick. I mean, it drives very nicely. It's just not quite as good through whoa, <laughs> at dealing with the bumps. It doesn't have a particular lack of grip. We've gone round in a circle there. Uh, not that this lap really mattered, uh, but uh, it has a very similar amount of grip, to be honest, to the Cobra and to the Countach. It's carrying similar sort of corner speeds through places. It's just a couple of the bumps 
are messing with it a little bit. This big jump, it's not as nice over. It's not as nice over here. The first, the first jump on the lap is not quite as good. And definitely that transition, sort of the downhill and then the uphill bit, doesn't like that at all. It's really not very happy through there. Big air time again. I'm going to make sure we slow it down for turn one. And I've completely fluffed the line. <laughs> a little bit too, uh, too slow into turn one. Uh, through this time, a little bit of understeer through this next turn, throw it at the trees and hope, it's, uh, <laughs> hope it works. Again, throw it around this corner. I mean, there is, yeah, there's very good grip, as you would imagine, from a car with, uh, <laughs> with these ridiculous sized tyres. Oh, we've cracked the windscreen. That's never good. Oh, that was, it was super quick through there. If you get it right through there, this GT40 absolutely flies. It's down here we don't like it at all. It's not happy. <laughs> it's really not happy. I mean, if you, it's a Le Mans race car. It shouldn't be doing this. Uh, but, uh, yeah, it really doesn't like that turn. I may have downshifted one too many times on uh, on that corner. Come on, Ford. You can do it. I don't know if we're on for a better lap. I, I think we're on for about an hour. Oh, nope. Nope, 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 nope. That's good. That's bad. It's, whoa, okay, we've survived. But uh, I think we've slightly compromised our run onto this next lap as well. It's not really... It just doesn't fly quite as nicely as the uh, the Lamborghini. It was meter through turn one though. Can we be quick down here? Uh, it's just a little bit understeery again. It's still good. It's still good. Don't get me wrong. It's still a still a pretty damn fast car, and I think it's definitely one of the fastest I've had through this turn. If you get it right and hooked in, it's very fast through there. But it's just uh, the bumps everywhere are killing it. We're again throwing out a little bit wide. I'm going to try short shifting uh, down here. That was a bit better. It was better that time round through there. We're going to run a tad wide. I found some more bumps to uh, run over and have a problem with. And then it's the run towards the line. Can we go under the one minutes with the GT40 through the air? Probably not with that. No, but... <laughs> <laughs> we might have been on. It would have been close. Uh, I think it might have gone a tiny bit quicker. But yeah, it's uh, <laughs> a little bit of a poorly GT40. Well, a 1 minute 0.379 puts it into fifth place. Goes behind the Sagaris and the MX-5. A quick car and certainly an awful lot of grip through the turns. However... It has just not quite got the ride height or the suspension to deal with this course. It's just got too many problems. Uh, admittedly, I mean, that wasn't the cleanest the sort of run off the jump, and you will get cars on this side, but this one really doesn't like it. I'm pretty sure I took the jump like that with the Countach once, and yeah, it'll tip the car at its side, but the GT40 is really unhappy with it. Unsurprisingly, perhaps, the, uh, the classic Le Mans racer is not really a fan of the bumpy stuff and the flying stuff bloody fast everywhere else very quick everywhere else if it could deal with the bumps better it could definitely uh, scare the Countach I think but it, it just it just can't and maybe it's a tiny bit slower in a straight line although that may just be because I'm braking a bit earlier because I'm not trusting this car with the bumps as well and that's also possible but um, yeah a challenge certainly to uh, to drive around the course but uh, there we go that is it for this video guys thank you very much for watching and until next time a uh, goodbye